Welcome back for another Game Maker Studio tutorial. This time on Defense Tower. And as you can see on the screen, we have our little player here. And once we reach a specific point, this is the attack range of this tower, he starts attacking on my last position. And then, well, we can always dodge that easily. And what I'm going to show you today is basically how you can set up very, very easily how this whole structure works in theory well, and in practice as well. This is one of Indie. I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Source and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you are new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every two days a video. So let's get right into the good stuff. So basically I just have two um, objects. The first one is my little um, well tower and I centered it sort of well here so we have our x and y position at this specific point so we can always shoot from that position but that is just the preference I do let's kill all that stuff so I can show you how you can well do that and basically what we need at first are a few things first of all let's say we need a range so the range is basically just this thing for the tower so it knows is the player in range and if he's in range go attack him and therefore we need one thing which is our AI and that is quite a cheap AI and that's why we call it AI and when then it just has two modes first of all the idle and second of all the attack which you saw above and that is just for you debugging and testing in the real game you wouldn't be seeing that and then well, the next thing is we need to have sort of a target. This is a, a thing you can always assign, but that is for example nice if you want to change target, then you just, uh, well, assign the object you want to target to with a specific variable, but you can do that as you please. And the last thing is, well, the shooting mechanic, and that is just basically, um, well, a timer that runs down and every one three what are three seconds almost three seconds it will shoot a fireball so let's get into the step event and check out how the magic is working here and first of all what do we need um, this is a good practice but you don't have to do that but then you avoid errors and we want to check is there well this target we want to hit and that is for example the object player one or we just say targets Come on. And we just set it up and then if the target is there then we want to have the nearest instant because sometimes maybe you have multiple players or multiple enemies you want to well shoot at and then it will just assign the nearest one and this is how you can do that well here. So basically you just go and do a variable and assign it to the nearest instance of a specific type and for example uh, well, that could be the player for now. We just have one, but now it will just store well the nearest instance to this variable, and this variable we're gonna use for a few things. And I'm gonna show you that by copy and pasting because I'm too lazy to write. So we have two if clauses. First of all, we do two things. We do a comparison between our range, which we set to. 300 pixels so 300 pixels from this point because this is the point of our origin and then around that we have our let's say range for attacking and then we say all right we do a function which is called distance to point this just return sort of um, a distance from the origin which is well this tower here to the nearest instance which we just stored in the instance variable and then the instance x we want and y and then we get I don't know, 500 300 100 or whatever uh, so, sort of uh, well uh, a value which we compare to our range and if it's smaller than the range then we are inside our attack range and then we said all right ai let's go to attack and 
The other thing is, for example, if the range is bigger, so if we are outside this circle, we say nope, let's be idle. And then we just say AI idle. And that was pretty much it for the first part. And the second part is, well, we want to attack. So for example, if it says we want to do some action, then we say already. If our attack is, well, if our AI is on attack, so if you are in range, start preparing our shooting. And then we just say we want our shoot timer to decrease. And once it hits zero, copy paste, love it. So we run down the shoot timer and once the shoot timer is um, below zero, we just say, all right, reset the shoot timer and create our shot, which is this little bugger here. And well, then we are almost finished with our tower object. And the last thing, of course, you don't have to do that, but this is just, well, to check stuff. First of all, we need to draw ourselves because well, then we would be invisible. That would be kind of stupid because we want to see the tower. Then we draw a circle from our position X and Y within our range. And that's, that's what you saw with the circle around it. So we just draw our circle. And then here, for example, if we, oh, come on here. Um, if we are well, drawing our circle, it just demands well the origin point from start from, then the range, which is the radius, and then you can put in zero or one. And zero, for example, means that you want not a circle, but you want the full shape of the circle. And here we just want the outline, so we just go for one. And then, for example, you can do that too, just to check: Are you attacking? So you just draw the text above, well your tower and say AI and AI would be like idle or attack. And that's basically it. Very, very easy to set up. And for example, once we, well, create our tower shot, we do a few things which are quite easy as well. And you can do that with path, path and stuff, but I just do it very, very basic. And for example, once, for example, this shot is being done, you can do in the create event a particle effect. So the shot has been fired or sound as well. So you kind of know that something is happening, but that is something you can do for here. It's just a very, very simplistic way how you can well start the thing. So first what we do, again, we store our nearest instance in an instance variable. And then we say move towards a point and because we do it once in the create event it will just say all right the player is let's say here so we store this variable and then it will just go to this position but for example if you dodge it won't be following you it just goes in a straight line this is how you can do it with a uh, move towards point function when you do it and initialize it once in the create event and that you do with the last x and y position once upon a creation and then with a speed of 1.5 yep that is it here and the last thing is because you want your image to be well uh, rotated to where you it's supposed to be you just go do a little sneaky image angle and set it to the point direction function with the starting point which is the well x and y of this fireball and towards the target instance x and y and then it will automatically rotate that thing to well and this is how you can do it hopefully that was a good uh, and useful information for you and i am out have a good one one up indie